Well, hello there, ye faithful few, and welcome back to DMS Adventures, where when wear and tear hits it, you gotta try and fix it. Well, that is what has happened to the Rugged Mountain Sisters Sea to Summit pad. Yes, she we blow it up and she goes to sleep and then by morning time... We, uh, well, I am literally feeling like I'm just laying on the floor. With so me. we figured we got a small leak in it. Now, I contacted Sea to Summit and they were really fantastic. So we picked this up off of Amazon and apparently we bought it from a non-authorized seller. And so technically the warranty was <laughs> not, they wouldn't honor it, but they said they would anyway, because it seems like they're a pretty decent company. So instead of sending it in though, I decided what the heck, we would try to figure out where the leak is and patch it. So. So, I thought we would bring you all along, show you how to do it, um, or potentially how not to do it. Okay, so we got a nice big bathtub here. Uh, unfortunately, this thing takes about six years to fill up all the way, so we're I'll gonna... I'll see you when I'm 15. So we're gonna get this thing started. Look how quickly it's filling up. take about maybe 10 years maybe 35 minutes look who joined us I saw spray him. no rugged mountain mister rugged mountain mister king yay so should we find the leak here's our repair kit It's like our tag team video. So I believe we're supposed to over inflate it. It just means you need stronger lungs. But then you might definitely pop it. Okay, so we're shutting her down after an hour or so of running. Not really, it just seemed like it. I'm gonna start at the foot area. Where is it? I don't know if that is too close to the seam to 
hatch successfully, but maybe worth a try. Got a mark right there. We will try and put a patch on that to see if that'll work. Okay, now just based on where this is so close to the seam, I'm not entirely certain how to do it. Of course, my hole doesn't end up, you know, right here somewhere where I can just slap it right on. It's gonna be right here. So I don't know whether to arrange this so it's right on the edge like this, or to put it right in the middle and try and get it to seal up against this seam. So I'm probably gonna go for that route. I'm probably gonna go right up, put the hole in the middle, and then try and wrap it around and see if that works. If I can get the 3M tape off. All right, here we go. Of course, my helpers bailed on me. Try and fold this over the seam. All right, so there it is. Got the patch over. We'll let that sit for a little bit and see if it holds there. Well, everybody, we got the patch on and we're actually going to go on an adventure tonight. So you will see the results of our patching in that video. So we'll see you later. Thank you all so much for watching. You all have a great day.